Today we are going to check out how you can create your account on Vivi and buy your first collectibles step by step and easy to comprehend. If you like this stuff then please slap a like on this video and if you want more information about Vivi, about Ecomi, about crypto and NFTs, altcoins and everything around the space then make sure to be subscribed to this channel right now with notifications on and let's jump right into the process. So. If you are going to the website app.vv.me, you are able to log into Vivi if you already have an account or you can click on get started and start out with the uh, information page here for Vivi. And we can see here where the world collects and uh, some of the collectibles are already popping up. We are seeing if we are using these little arrows a little bit how it works. You can use AR collectibles, you can um, get ranks, earn MCP master collector point levels from start of gold, platinum and two up to the master collector. And here we also see the AR readable comics and many of the collectibles that are obtainable like Miles Morales, like Harlequin, like Buzz Lightyear and many, many others branded, branded official collectibles. So uh, what you want to do here after you have uh, informed yourself is to click on sign up. And that will bring you to another page where you can then start out and put in your name. And we are going here with me. Um, I'm going to put in patient hodler, no need uh, to doxing myself and say we are born at the 20th of January uh, 1998, for example. Um, you must be though 18 years old. If you're not 18 years old, you might want to ask your parents to actually create the account for you. Um, uh, because if you're doing KYC in the account in the end, which is know your customer, so you have to put in um, information about yourself, then uh, you will not be able to proceed in this step. And then you choose a username, something like for me, this would be patient, uh, hodler, and I think someone, someone took my name already, so we are going to just uh, put it somewhere, patient, hodler, YouTube, YT, and then we're going with patient, Hodler at gmail.com and we are going to um, choose a password which hopefully ah, ha has to have an uppercase character as well so we're going to put this in and then um, you can choose here if you want or do not want so you leave this open if you don't want any uh, if you do want any um, information about upcoming drops, then you leave this open. Otherwise, you checkmark this and you don't get bombarded with emails. But they are not very frequent. So it's only for new drops with a spotlight um, overall what you get um, on the app. And then um, you also have to agree for the, to the terms of use. And this is very important. There are a couple of things in the terms of use that you have to know. And I'm going to tell you one of the most important things here. If you are just buying a new uh, collectible that you like and then go offline for a while, you should log into your account at least once per year because otherwise your account is deemed as inactive and uh, you will get a notification via email when it is inactive, but after a while they can close your account uh, basically forever, um, uh, which has happens to some of the inactive users. I have agreed to the terms of service and now I can create the account. So now I will get in my email a verification code that I have to put in here and then I can submit. So verification code inserted submit. So now we are already asked to enable two-factor authentication. This is very important to secure your account fully because once you have a couple of dollars in there, you want to have this very secure. So you can either use an authenticator app or email. I'm going to um, just use the email and uh, have another one-time code sent to me. The most secure thing is though using an authenticator app. So now that I have my code here, I can also enable this. And now I get a recovery code here and I can show this um, because this is only for demo purposes and I'm not going to use this account really. Um, so we are just going to see here how it looks and then I will click on done and um, in the end uh, I will drop instantly into the VV marketplace. 
Once you are in the app, you can see here already that you still have to verify your account. So you can either click here on get verified or you can start right away to click through the app. So what we see here is we have the store function where we see the new drops coming up or we have the um, collection that we already possess. We have a news feed, a market and our profile settings. But let's go first through the drop page because this is the most interesting thing probably for everyone who is new here and wants to grab their favorite drop. So what is coming up at the point of making this video is this Avengers comic and it's coming up in about two hours and a couple of minutes. Now what you get here as a warning because we're not verified yet is um, that you have to get verified first to then be able to um, unlock the full potential um, of the app. So um, we have here um, the possibility to take two to three minutes to get verified. Um, and if we do that, we can sell our collectibles in the market. So if we would get one of these comics, we can sell it in the market. We can enable a payout. So that means if I sell some collectibles and I get gems, I will be able to cash out if you are hitting the minimum limit of 500 gems. So you need to have at least 500 gems in your account to be able to pay out and the payout comes with a fee of 10%. So keep that always in mind when you're putting uh, funds into the app. Then also um, you will be able to access uh, all drops and you will be uh, getting drop priority, meaning that everyone who is not KYC'd is not verified uh, will be losing to you if it is about the last edition here. So you can click then here on unlock um, the process and then the process will start. I will not go into the full verification process because it's like every KYC on every platform that you know. So um, either if you are in crypto, you know this already from crypto exchanges or there are other things uh, where you have to do this other uh, portals where you have to sign up. So I think by now almost everyone has gone through a KYC process in, in their life, either through online banking or to any other um, digital um, membership. But let's go with the skip for now and look a little bit more into the drop panel. So here we see what we're getting. It's um, the uh, Avengers drop. There are 243 likes already on this. So we are going to uh, not give a like here because we cannot do that um, once we, only once we're verified. So we cannot comment and we can not even like. Um, so here what we see is uh, this drop costs $10, so 10 gems. You need to upload these gems uh, via a payment method uh, to your account. So we are going to do or look at that in a second. And we see here the time until um, the drop will happen. Half an hour earlier, um, there will be the waitlist going um, Half an hour earlier, the waitlist will be opening and then here a button will appear where you can enter the waitlist. And then we see here what it is. It's a Marvel Avengers uh, number six. Uh, the start of the series, not of this comic, is uh, 1963. 5,000 total editions means if there would be more than 5,000 people participating, there will be people that will not get this drop. You will not lose any gems or anything else if you are not um, getting selected. So um, only then uh, if you're selected and you hit the buy now button, only then you will get the $10 deducted from your account. And we can see here the cover variants. These are by luck. So you can either hit with a one in one six three chance a common or you can hit a secret rare, but the chances are one in 41 only and there are only 113 secret rares available for this drop. So that is how the drop panel looks like and this drop panel will look similar for every drop that is coming up on Vivi. Sometimes there's only one rarity, for example, when it is in the collectible space, but oftentimes there are many rarities that you can get. And once you got your collectible, after uh, about half an hour after the drop, you will be able to sell your collectible or uh, you will be able, if you missed out, to check the market for other collectibles that you want to buy. So here we have a collectible section and then also comic section. 
And let's say just we didn't get this X-Men uh, 53, so we will actually be able to go here into the cover variants of that one and then uh, look for what we want to buy. And let's say we are um, a collector of these exclusive cover variants. So let's uh, see what the ultra rare costs. And we see the ultra rare variant is sitting at $14.75. Um, and we could then click here on buy now. And we will see now that I need more gems because the gem balance is only zero. So we could either click here on get more gems to upload gems or what we also can do is we go into our um, wallet on the settings and in the wallet section we are able to click get more gems as well. So either when you do not have enough gems the item will not be reserved so this ultra rare that we are looking at is actually not reserved so, so anyone else can buy this so it's always good to have some gems topped up there um, if you are looking to make a quick buy. And then we would go into the get more gems and then we can go with our credit card um, and buy more gems. So once we have everything filled in, we, have, we can click purchase gems. Depending on the amount, it could be that there will be a security check where you have to, for example, unlock this from your phone. But overall, um, after that, there will be only a small window where it says either payment success or payment failed. Don't worry if it says payment failed. Sometimes there is a bug and the payment actually went through. Just uh, wait a couple of seconds and refresh the page and you will see uh, your gems topped up already if it really worked. Otherwise, you will have a notification probably um, on, on your phone for your credit card and see that um, something went wrong. Maybe um, your credit card provider might reject the first transaction. Then you will have to talk with them. So here we see a, a lot of other stuff that is a little bit too far for this getting started guide. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little quick start guide for uh, Vivi. And let me know in the comments below your questions or what you didn't understand. So I might do follow up videos on this um, to have us a little bit more uh, understand Vivi and uh, the different concepts within Vivi. So don't forget to smash up the like button here for this video, subscribe to the channel and tick the little bell for more notifications. Have a good one everyone and bye.